Okay, so today we're going to be talking webinar softwares and I have about take about four softwares that I've been sort of comparing and this is my short list and I want to just share my thoughts on how I got to this point, what I was looking for in terms of a webinar software, what I think you should look for in terms of a webinar software if you're looking for one and um, just give you my final thoughts on which one I think I'm going to go with. I haven't made a final decision as yet, so this is really just my sort of my thought process on how I got to this far and what are some of the differences or nuances that I'm seeing throughout the different um, software altogether. So here's my shock list altogether, just kind of cut to the chase. So number one is I'm looking for price, right? I'm looking for the cheapest software possible. Now that doesn't necessarily mean the best software. I'm looking for the cheapest software. However, um, I'm, I am willing to increase my price for features. So while I'm looking for the cheapest, I'm not just looking for the bare minimum, okay? If, it, if that's the case, then I could point you to the right bare minimum, which by the way, um, is click meetings, which I'll talk about in a bit, but that's click meetings, just in case you're looking for In this day and age, convenience is everything. Shit. There's countless digital tools to help you be more productive. Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, that scared me. It was my, uh, uh, you, one of the YouTube videos was playing behind the scenes. Anyway, so continuing. So, um, yeah, so if you're looking for the cheapest altogether that I've seen so far, it is definitely uh, Click Meeting. They have the cheapest price. You could go right off the top, jump right in there. So, so if you want to do that, then yeah, that, that's you could, don't have to watch this video anymore. Um, the, the biggest one is customization of the registration page. Now, this one is interesting because when you get to the landing page, right, for the webinar, you want it to have sort of at least... You know you want it to look good however what i'm noticing in my own personal journey with this is that because i'm a web developer and because i know software and software development i'm looking for too much i'm expecting these tools to do a lot of things that they can't necessarily do and so i'm getting frustrated with it so on the flip side of that what i'm realizing is sim less is more like the less you can edit the more now there's kind of a sweet spot here because on the one hand what i'm seeing is that they allow you to do any and every single thing on the page and then what ended up happening to me at least personally is I'm stuck in creativity land trying to like figure out all the things that I need to do to get the perfect web page however on the flip side when they give me like hey you could just change this color you could change this title and you could change this section I have no choice but I'm able to just focus on the messaging a little bit more if that makes any sense so I'm finding that these end, two ends of the spectrum have pros and cons just within them. However, I'm trying to find a middle ground of something that could give me a little bit of flexibility on the on the design, but I'm not too locked down on just editing one, two specific things, right? But it, but it doesn't give me sort of like everything under the sun, which puts me in a sort of a creativity paralysis mood. Uh, the other thing is um, webinar. So evergreen webinars, I think they're calling this evergreen I think is the word that they use to describe it so so my idea is that you should be able to log in to the webinar and it should be starting within the next 15 minutes so it's always starting in the next 15 minutes this way you could choose next 15 minutes or next half an hour or next 45 minutes to start the webinar right but those are the options that you have and this will show up in the drop down there's a few of them that does this uh, S T E A. L T H the the stealth one does as well and I think um the easy webinar I'll show you that in a bit as well too and I'll show you what I'm talking about um the other one is uh easy email follow up so the sequence the ability to obviously have the the email the webinar do the follow ups now some of them seem to have they all seem to have this feature however what I'm noticing is that um the, the customization of some of them is is not there so so that's where it gets a little tricky with this one here and what I want to do is I want to be able to kind of custom tailor the message a little bit and kind of set to when they should be going out so this one we'll talk about it in a bit um, and stats so this is actually really important not all of them have this which I thought was fascinating um, so I it's really important for me to see how many people are actually get into the landing page so I know I could get that obviously I'm gonna be driving traffic to these landing pages from Google or Facebook or some other entity online uh, advertised medium and what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to see the actual visitors now the one that seems to be doing it the best right now is easy webinar so I'm gonna put easy webinar here so where is that stats right 
here. Yeah, so they seem to be doing it the best right now. And then um, custom domain. This is the, not necessarily a, a must have, but it's, it's something that is, is nice. That it's at least is branded with my company name or something, right? And I'm not talking about like Dwayne dot name of company dot com. It would be like ideally it would be Dwayne Webinar dot com, right? Like something like that. So this seems, to, yeah, but but a lot of them don't have this here. The ability to take the um the registration form or just kind of embed it into an existing web page, I think that's a that's a big deal. Um, an integration. So by integration, I mean the, when a web when a, somebody registers for your webinar, for some sort of web hook or web API to be triggered to pass that information into my CRM or some other tool, that's important, right? Else I'll have to be copying the names from their tool to my tool, which is a no brainer. If you know anything about me and this channel, it's all about automation and uh, and, and Zapier. And then bonus, uh, so bonus, yes. Yeah, so, so what do I have a bonus? Registration filter, oh, this one was interesting. So there's only one that I saw with this, with this which is um, easy, easy webinar. So uh, what I mean by this here, this is this is a bonus. I, I didn't think about this. This never came across my desk. I was like, actually, you know, it'd be kind of interesting to have that. So in the list of registration pe uh, people that register, you could see, oh, I want to filter by people that registered but didn't complete the event. Or I want to filter by people that say uh, registered but only watch the first five minutes or something like that like it actually gives you the ability to kind of filter and this is a bonus because I didn't think about this at all and it came across my desk and I was like oh actually that's a really interesting feel um, the two other ones are webhook so after the event you could trigger a webhook to notify you or something that the event has been completed right and then the second one is call to action to put a call to action along the top or the bottom during the webinar so that you can um, um, uh, prompt the user to do something else within the webinar go to another page buy a product etc etc so this is my short list I don't, I don't this is not an exhaustive list this is just the things that I'm looking for because I'm new to webinars I haven't really done webinars before and I'm trying to find a tool but I'm trying to find a tool one that can help me get up with a webinar as fast as possible but also um, have some of the integration and some of the other things that I'm looking for on the back end side from a software standpoint. So let me just, let me just again, I'm seven minutes into this, so I want to push this a little bit and just talk about uh, the different options right off the top. So um, first of all, we know that there's a big, there's a, the big ones on the block, right? Like so, there's a click funnels, which I know their prices were higher before, and I just recently went to their web page, and now their prices are like, mm, it's not that bad. However. Um, I, I had this software. I, I had this software. I know I had it, the recent version of it, because this is how I know I have it, because as you can see here, uh, subscription expired. And if I went to customer center, um, it shows that I paid for about three months or so. Yeah, see here? So, so, I, so I did test this out. I know I did. The problem that I think I ran into with it is that it just had a lot of stuff. It was oh it the way how we would describe it is that it was overwhelming for me and I think it, it, this this software has every single thing under the sun and obviously everybody knows ClickFunnels is one of the leaders in this space so I, I can't tell you any single thing but there's tons of people that have made lots of money on this on this product itself for me personally though I just find it overwhelming all the different options inside of there and uh, and I think it's just because I'm just new to the the, the the, the process of webinars and um, uh, the, the, the target market might be slightly different, right? See, so he has a storefront and there's a lot of stuff going on inside of here, but don't get me wrong, this could be used for, for the stuff that I'm using it for anyway. It's just that I, I just find it overwhelming. Um, and then the next one was Webinar Jam, um, which, is, which is new also. Again, the, these companies have re revisited their pricing because I specifically remember all these prices being way way higher than than what they are and i think what it is is what um the every webinar and webinar jam which i can't seem to for the life of me figure out what's the difference between these two software because i think they're by the same company and i think they're just two different market targeting two slightly different price points i i, I think um this is the yearly fee which is actually cheaper 
The problem is I don't want to pay the upfront, right? What I want to do is I want to uh, test the software, use it for a bit, try if it works and then keep it. And then if it works and I'm commit longer, but right now the industry there's, it's so fragmented and so many different players in the market that I, I, I just don't want to do this off the top. So for this reason, I'm staying away from the two, from the, I call it the two biggest players, webinar jam and click funnel. I'm staying away from them for a bit uh, because I find them to be just a little bit uh, overwhelming. And I did have webinar jam at some point also, like a long time ago. And I don't think it's a new version I've had. I, I had the old one. I did prepay for it for a year, never used the software, went in there and realized that it was actually a very good marketed product with with, with, with just a lot of um, old technology, old technology. So actually, by the way, that should be on my list. Um, new technology, modern, modern, or web development, or UI, right? Because some of them, what happens is, is that they're kind of old and they're sitting with old technology. So, so with that, now that you kind of understand my thought process and what I'm looking for right now, let's go jump right into it. So let, we're gonna jump right out of price right off the top and then we'll go from there. So from a price standpoint, so we're cutting these guys out. I'm, I'm not gonna touch webinar jam, I'm not gonna touch click funnel, I'm not gonna touch every, every webinar, um, I think this thing. And then I found this list here and it basically went through this entire list. Okay, so I'm gonna give you some reasons to why I'm not touching some of the other softwares also so you understand why I got to this list altogether. Zoom, um, I don't think it's for, for webinars. I think Zoom is a fantastic tool. I use it every single day. I, I'm a paid customer of Zoom um, for webinars. Their interface is clunky. It's old fashioned, it's old, it's outdated. It's a lipstick on a pig. I will not use it in any single me. Click meetings, we're gonna talk about them in a bit because I have them on this short list here. Um, get response. Hmm, interestingly, I don't think I've actually looked at these guys in any kind of great detail. Um, Oh, right, yes, I did look at them. Yes, be, but um, their email, right, yes. So you see here, just tons of other stuff not necessarily related to webinar, per se. It's an email marketing platform, and it's great. I actually think this is this is actually a really good tool. I think, I know I haven't actually gone into it in depth, but I actually might come back to this and look at it for different purposes. But um, specifically on webinar, it just don't seem like it has the, the right sort of feel. Zoho meeting seems like it will do the stuff that they want, except I couldn't find the details around like the automation parts of Zoho meeting. It seems like they might want me to connect it to the marketing tool and connect it to the CRM. So for that reason, I just kind of get out of it. And this WebEx, this was, um, I think this is Cisco. I might be wrong with this one here. Um, the go to meeting, go to webinar. This is this is the this is the old fashioned one. Blue jean. Some of these are expensive. Some of these are expensive. They're targeted towards more enterprise, and the technology is clunky. So that's for for those reasons why I just kind of decide to just keep away from from all these tools. So here's my short list of ones that I'm currently looking at, actively testing, and I think has all of the right appeal. Um, and I'm, I, I don't think they're in any specific order, but but I'll, I'll, let's start with um, Livestorm. So this Livestorm here, I came across it like literally in the last 24 hours. Um, it turns out I actually had an account way back when. So I went in there and I was I had the free plan. Um, so here's what I'll say right off the top. This by far for customization is the best with one caveat that I've seen so far. Um, there's no real customization on the on the registration page so so I logged into it I set up a webinar in here and if I if I if I come and click on see here registration page this is what the registration page looks like and I couldn't find a way to properly edit this now you see here they have this integrate into I, I like it, 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 it's actually very poor of, of a design for 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 thing. See here, I can click on edit, and I can make some very specific changes, right? Uh, I can make some very specific changes to to this, right? Here, and I can make it um, thing, but but just a just the way how the event is set up. I'm sorry, 
that's not what I'm looking for. Just the way how this registration page is set up, it's not set up as a landing page to sell you the webinar. You basically, you have to do your promotion and send them to this page and then get them to log in. So, and I couldn't find a way to edit the registration page. Sorry, I keep moving myself all over the place. But, um, so if you go to settings, for example, right? See here, there's registration. When I click on registration, it gives me this option. Yeah, see, it's not even here anymore. There was an option for me to like design the registration page, but I had to basically install it from the marketplace, which didn't make any sense. So, which I've done, because uh, it was prompting me to do design custom to enable this. To enable this and right so I enabled this and my understanding was that somewhere in the um, I, would, I, would, I would be able to edit the registration page and, and, and do some more design however there's nothing that's given me any options here so I find it I might not be using this tool correctly but right off the top um, you know, this is great. The session, the people, the invitee, right? This, the, the, every single thing around, see here, design here. This is what I was looking for. Sorry. It was a registration of design. See here, the custom app is available. Great. Okay. Install. I did that. And all it does, it takes me to the marketplace. It says custom. It's already, oh, it's disabled the game. Oh, this is custom code. So this I enabled, I guess maybe I should enable this, right? It's not very clear. It's like they, they added these plugins. Um, and I know these are developers that did this because, because you can see this tool was kind of done from a developer standpoint. And here you could customize the email, but the only thing you really do is just change the background, the message, etc. So this is the problem that I have with this tool. However, here's what I think is really great with it. Um, one is the email. So see here, email for attendance, be one day before start, preview and edit it, right? Hasn't started. So this is great. You could just come in here and just click add another one, five minutes reminder. Um, and, and just add another email. Create your template. Right, go through that whole process. I'm not gonna go through that right now, right? So, so it's actually really, really good from that standpoint. And, and the other things that I thought that was just very, very impressive with this tool was, um, so, it, so it had a marketplace, but, but that's, I mean, they all have some kind of integration of some sort. And obviously they, they all have integration with Zapier, I should mention that. But this was interesting to me. Right off the top, they have a web hook. They had an API, they were very API focused first. And they had a web hook where I could come in and I could say, okay, I wanna add a web hook. So every time I, um, a new registration, comes in place, send the data to this API. Or every single time an event start, send the data to this API without me having to do any single thing else, which is fantastic. Because if you know anything about me in this channel, I'm all about web hooks and whatever. And if you don't know anything about web hooks, I have a video on this channel that you can look at about uh, web hooks. So from that perspective, this tool is actually really, really, really good. It, it has the best modern UI interface that I've seen so far specifically around um, um, uh, just the, just the integration and the API part and and the setup of the meeting seems okay however where it falls short is on the actual meeting registration capabilities so for this reason I don't think I'm gonna go with these guys unless they could show me otherwise uh, the other thing I think I don't like about them by the way is that when I signed up um, is it is it let me just double check my notes let me just see one of them forced me into, uh, yo, oh, oh, sorry, it was easy webinar. So, okay, so let's go talk about easy webinar. So for this reason, these guys are out. Um, easy webinar, actually, let me back up a little bit and talk about stealth webinar. So stealth webinar, which is these guys, had a really, had some very compelling reasons. So I found this out from one of the guys that I follow on YouTube, specifically around webinars, and I think he said that he used this tool um so 
Uh, so it has some pretty interesting things. So when you're setting up the webinar, it had the, the ability for you to uh, upload a placeholder video. So you, in other words, you don't have your current video that you're going to be actually doing. So it says, you know what, put a placeholder, go through, test every single thing out. And then when you have your video, you could swap it out. I thought that was really cool. Um, this is interesting. This I didn't even think that I needed and I don't even know if I want. Um, but the ability to simulate attendance. So you can say, hey, I want to simulate 30 people in the webinar and it will actually do it. Um, and then it allows you to use uh, third party templates to design your own templates. I'll show you what I mean in that. And so in other words, you could use a third party tool to do like a lead page or a landing page to kind of do the design, which is which is clever. I think if lead storm had just done that, I'd be fine with it. And then last but not least, there's not immediately obvious where to set the email follow-up messages. So that's the problem that I kind of ran into this tool. Um, price point is pretty good. It seems to be very popular. However, what I will say uh, from my observation is that the UI is slightly old. And any single time you have a UI that's slightly older, it means that, um, well, it's just a slightly older tool. However, see here, at the $99 level, it's there you can do white label and custom domains which is one of my um, which is one of my points on on, on this oops on my um, on my notes so so for that reason I actually do think it has some really cool thing it also has a B um, split testing and stuff which is more advanced registration etc and um, so logging into it again I won't go through full details in it so I do have a webinar here that I put together and what I found that was interesting, the UI is a little dated, but that shouldn't deter you. It had a lot of scheduling options, a lot of scheduling options. I think this had the most details in terms of like scheduling options. And see here, these are the reminders, SMS reminders, Facebook reminders, etc. automatic replay available, right? See here, so you can do just in time on next hour, next five minutes, next quarter, next half an hour. Right, so next five minutes kind of deal, and then you could put the times off. It just had a lot of options specifically around scheduling. The most detailed that I've seen, the other ones did not have this many options around um, uh, scheduling. And then on the registration form, this is what I was talking about. So you see here, um, they actually had a pretty good registration page format. So to be honest with you, this is I think this is one of my top tier in terms of like choice of pick. The thing that I didn't like about it is it just feels like a slightly outdated UI and that shouldn't deter me, but it's kind of like a thing for me. So um, change, so here, see here, so it had a lot more options in terms of like landing page. So for example, I could use this template, I could change the template and then I think I could go to preview, where was it? Let me, let me go to here and preview it. So I could do this and then preview it. So from a landing page standpoint, and here I could do customization and edit this page all together. So from a landing page standpoint, um, this has had really good tool. This is what I was talking about, by the way. So by the way, on the registration form, see here, pick a time, and then you could choose, and it, it shows you the next three available slots. And I think you could actually configure that to show it, say, the next five available slots. So from a, honestly, from a comprehensive tool, I think, and the price point, this tool has has everything. Uh, this is the registration page, so you can configure that for after you get your countdown, um, your watch page. Like it just, it had a lot of five-minute email reminders. This is where the email reminders were that I couldn't find before, right? So here I could go in, I could configure exactly what messages and things. So honestly, this might be a front runner for me in, in so in, in many many ways. It, it actually had a lot of stuff. And then you had the call to action, and the call to action was like the stuff that the banner that showed up when it should show up how long it show up and etc when you're doing that so uh, so this tool here for sure no questions asked is is a top runner it has a lot of, of move, um, moving parts and a lot of great features etc etc um the click meeting is on my radar because frankly if i'm going purely on price this this tool definitely wins the, the game uh, at, at 26 or 49 bucks, this is live and then this is automated. So if you want to do automated, it's not always pre-recorded, which is what I'm looking for. I'm at 42 bucks. So this is by far the cheapest on, on the market altogether. Sorry about these sounds that are coming out of my system. 
um, and, um, and 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 it was pretty good. It had all the other stuff that we talked about. So um, the thing that I I wouldn't say that. I, uh, so actually, here the thing that well, actually, there's one thing I didn't like about it. Um, the stats was a little bit weak on that front. In fact, honestly, to be honest with you, I didn't actually do much pay much attention to the stats on this tool. I think that's what was the one thing that was kind of weak on the stealth tool, just to, just to, just as I remember. But um, on this tool here, uh, the stats were a little bit weak. So you see, you could do events, you could do by country or whatever case. But I I, I I couldn't. You couldn't really you couldn't really do much with it. I thought it was kind of like a half ass way of showing stats. However. Um, there's one thing I wanted to point out with this tool. Uh, so, so let me just join it. Oh, I didn't like that it showed permanent or meeting tool. It, it, it just said permanent. See that right there? No, this is that. So let me just see if I could, uh, detail. So on the registration, that's where I wanted to get that. So on the registration, like the registration page itself was not the best. It was just very basic. That's where it, this tool felt short for me. It, this is basically what I have. Now, again, this is on the free tier and I know on the paid tier because I did look at it, you can change the logo. Obviously you could change the text here. I don't know if you could get rid of this, which I think is just weak. It's like why would why would it why would you care that the room type is permanent? Like why why is this relevant to my guest that's signing up? This doesn't make any sense to me. So, um, and then you could just put a bio here, and that was kind of it for this tool. And that's the reason why, even though it was great from every single thing else, it was just it's just very weak from that from that standpoint. Um, so the registration page, the like it, it was just. This is where it fell short. However, however, the strengths are is that I can take the code and embed it into any um, webinar tool. So I think that's where, you know, it can work. I think that's the reason why they didn't put much emphasis on that because you could just take this, drop it into your own custom design, and then I think you're off to the races. And frankly, it's a really good tool from that first standpoint. Um, there was no issues from a meeting standpoint. In fact, it had one of the better UIs. Uh, I didn't like the fact that you have to you go into this separate file storage area to upload the files in order to go back and access the files in your meeting recording. If you didn't do it that step in that way, then for sure you'd have some problems. And and this was kind of okay. Like it's just showing you sort of the timeline of the different events that you have, so you could go after it and, and edit them, etc. So uh, this is definitely a front. If you're looking for something that where you could just say, you know what, from price standpoint, bam. I just want the cheapest price to get me up and running with the basic um, registration page. This is it for sure. No question about it. And the fact if you have a, a, a web page on some other tool, you could just take the embedded and put it there. This will work for you right off the top. I, I, I went through the tool. I tested it. It seems fine. Um, no issues there for sure. So moving forward a little bit more, pushing a little bit on this video, but I want to I want to get through, get through all of these tools. Um, so easy webinar. So the only reason I easy webinar came across my desk is because these guys were comparing themselves to it. And this is kind of a catch one too, right? Because somewhere at the bottom here, they had a comparison of easy webinar and a few other tools. And I obviously talked about every, every webinar, webinar jam, easy webinar was there. These guys are out because they're just clunky old technology and price point, they're not in my price point. So easy webinar is like, okay, let's check them out and see what happens. Um, I was really impressed with this tool. It has, so it's on par from a UI standpoint with Livestorm. Uh, pricing standpoint is definitely on par. It has some of the, a lot of the things. See three active automated webinars, unlimited live webinar sessions. So that was great. And and, and the price in tier is, is very generous at the 80 bucks per, per month. Uh, price point yearly 66, which is, pre, which is pretty aggressive. So, so from, from that standpoint, it was, it was actually a really good tool. And um, hang on a second. Why? Why is my login? Yeah, I think that's where it is. Nick, hang on. I don't want your suggested login. I want you to. I want to use my existing login. So, so what I like about this tool. 
uh, what I liked about this tool more than any single thing else was that um, it had a modern UI. So that's 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 definitely a win. Off the top, um, secondly, the there was a lot of options. There was just a lot of options, and honestly, the thing that I like the most is the analytics. So we see here. It shows you right off the top how many visitors got to your landing page, which is really, really important, right? Because if you're sending traffic to this, you kind of want to know from the tool standpoint what, what's your conversion rate, um, how many people registered, right? And it's visually appealing, which is what I like. How many people attended and how many people watched the replays, which I think is just really, really cool off the top. So purely from a very simplistic registration statistic standpoint, this tool here wins the game. It just does. It, it's just it's the UI is very very clear and and you could see exactly what happened with your efforts from a registration standpoint so for this reason I would say right off the top this wins um, it did have customization around the webinar the actual pages themselves so so you see here you can change the different options from a design standpoint, waiting area, thank you page, registration page, view and customize. And um, and it had options, right? It, it, now, I would argue it, it got a little bit too detailed, but you know what? You, you can't blame or give this tool a bad name for the effort in terms of thinking, you know, I don't know how to use this properly. I find that these things are a little clunky and it's because I, I'm a web developer and I'm thinking, Thing, but you see here I have the ability to customize the margins I could change the fonts like I, I could go a lot more in depth with this tool and it did have the option see here for it for you to do the see I could do the if I do the save and then preview it um, now interestingly enough it shows me a different registration page from the one that I was just on which I think is a little weird <coughs> sorry <coughs> Not sure what's happening there. So this page here is different. This is a registration page. I was just on that. I just clicked on preview and then it shows me a different page. No, I don't know if it's because I didn't publish it. Maybe it's because I didn't publish it. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, still got a cough. Maybe it's because I didn't publish it. So there, yeah, because I didn't publish it. But like I said, from a customization standpoint, right up there. This this tool here. No questions asked. Um, if I if I had to blindfold and pick one, it'd probably be this. It'd probably be this. Um, however, what I'm noticing is, like I said before, is I'm a little bit lazy in trying to customize it because it gives me so many options on the customization of the landing page. I'm like, do I really want this? Oh, maybe I do. It's putting me in decision paralysis mode. Whereas the real goal here is just to simplify the entire thing, get up and run in, and then kind of go from there, right? And I'm finding that I've spent a lot more time just messing around with the design of the tool rather than thing. And see here, it's a little clunky, right? I'm trying to delete, delete the entire section, but I can't get to it because, oh, there we go. So I can do that. So yeah, but customization wise, fantastic, fantastic tool. Seems like it has all the options available. In fact, I'm going to go a lot further and a lot more in depth with this because um, of all the tools, I really, 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 really like the analytics part of it. Um, the email notification was just as impressive. It had all the bells and whistles, welcome reminders, follow-ups, right? And uh, power follow-up, I could add a new, I have to upgrade for that. Um, so so it had all the bells and whistles, like a comment here, I could edit the follow-up message. It's just, it's like, from this standpoint, I think this tool wins. This tool wins, it, um, it, 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 it has good. And then um, obviously the message part of it, the actual um, registration setup and you see here is showing you all the different upcoming sessions and also who registered. But the one thing that I guess, like I said, that this tool had that the other ones didn't have, which is just, I call it the bonus feature, is a registration filter. Um, and it, uh, by the way, I'm making the assumption that you already know that this thing, already, it has integration with Sapier. But the bonus registration feature, which I thought was really interesting was this. Now I don't have a lot inside of here because obviously I'm just testing here. However, this add filter, see here, I could see webinars and session, all sessions or a specific session, a specific webinar. Um, I could see attendance rate. I could filter by any percentage 
of attendance who attended the re registrar device. It just gives you a lot of options to be able to filter this list, especially for marketing purposes, right? You have hundreds of webinar people that attended your webinars, but not all of them. You could kind of come in here and do some filter, export that list, and then do additional marketing with it. So from that perspective, I think this tool wins. I really, really believe that it wins. Um, it's definitely on the like, top, top of my tier in terms of thing because it has it covers everything, right? I could do the customization on the UI standpoint. It's modern um, thing. Uh, I, I will say that it, the only thing I'll see so far is that it's a bit weak on the event trigger part, right? So integration. Um, so that's probably the only single thing that I'll say is a little bit weak on. So see here, right? So access to integration, no stay on this page or upgrade. So it ha has this right which is all the tools that you could integrate with however for any single thing else you have to use zapier see it's all the way down at the bottom here right so it doesn't have the web hook it doesn't have some of that stuff it doesn't have the automation part but otherwise can't complain um and then last but not least is this uh webinar ninja which um which i spent some time on also and the webinar ninja the way how i would describe it is that it's an all around it seems like an all around good tool um, didn't have as much customization on the registration page form. In fact, I would argue it's a little bit weak there. However, it was the best standard, like no frills registration form that I've seen, I, right? So in other words, so you could do the evergreen webinar and all that type of stuff you could set up, with, you know, so, so we're not gonna go through all of that. So all that standard, right? Um, and then you could upload your media, et cetera, on the registration, Oh, you know what? I forgot this was a new account that I, I deleted my previous account and then I came back in here. However, on the registration, let me see if I can find it very quickly. Okay, let's just create one. So we're going to create a live webinar and say test. Right. And then what I'll do is I'm going to go here, enter studio. Uh, so if I publish it, this is what I want to do. Right, okay, actually, yeah, enter studio will do it. So if I enter studio and uh, configure the mic, etc., all this type of stuff, what I really want to do, no, this is fine. Um, so th this tool actually was pretty good from a, from from like the ability to, you know, you could add slides and add layouts and stuff. I, I think this tool here had the best, what I would call broadcast style of setting up a webinar presentation, but that's not what I wanted to show you. What I want to show you is the registration page. So I think you have to publish it maybe. I don't know why you have to choose a, a category. It doesn't make any sense. Um, options, registration page. There we go, yes. So this registration template, this is what you get, okay? Um, you can, you can, Now, yeah, so it did have a couple options on the registration page, but it was like a no frills. It was like, here, we give you the design and then you could just change this. You could change this, right? You could just change some basic stuff on it, um, which was which was pretty good, don't get me wrong. So it was like, the, like I said, the best no frills version that I've seen. In fact, I would argue that this is probably better than what uh, webinar has because the other one gives you a lot of control and then you end up in decision paralysis this is like no we think this is the absolute best for you so this is what we're going to give you nothing else right right that's just you just get that however what i didn't see with this one here was the ability to choose multiple options from a um from a from a drop down standpoint so like the next presentation Anyway, so th th that's all I got for this. Th this is a really long video. It's my thoughts around webinar tools and where I'm at. Um, I'm most likely gonna go with uh, Easy Webinar, even though the integration is not as sophisticated as the LiveStorm. I think the LiveStorm webinar system is really good, but the, like I said, the registration page is not as good. The Easy Webinar seems to have a little bit more comprehensive capabilities around the actual webinar uh, itself and uh, and then thing and if I if I don't end up going with that 
Hmm. It's a close second, but honestly, it, it might be the stealth. I think the stealth is is is, is pretty good. It it it, it they I, I really like the customization from from the um from the point of view of of the of the time, the the, the time slots and stuff like that. It, it just just had a lot of stuff going on for it. So so, but it was a really good tool, even though it's a little bit dated. So I think I'm gonna narrow it down to those three. But I'll say if I had to give you my top three picks, it would be Easy Webinar, Stealth, and it's a close toss up between Click Meeting and Webinar, um, Webinar Ninja. But um, the thing I didn't like about Webinar Ninja, just on the price, just one thing on the price point very quickly here, was that um, it did, like, you have to be at the 99 tier in order to get some of the other stuff, right? So you can do it at a basic tier in order to do the, the um, so anyway, th those are my thoughts. Hopefully you gotten some value out of this. I've talked way too long on this video, but, um, but if you got any value out of it, let me know. Um, feel free to subscribe. I should have said that like, you know, hundreds of times. But anyway, feel free to subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I really appreciate, um, you listening. And let me know if you have any questions about any of these tools. Thank you.